spot. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now one more Ladies time for the official introduction. Here's Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC and the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Havana, Cuba, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. fighters in this division. Oh! All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he has that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, what a punch. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Checks the leg kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Just missed with the left there. Big kick. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Real quick leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Trying to kick the leg out. Look at the turtle in that kick. Pretty good right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, nice defense on the single leg attempt there. Liver kick. Oh, right under the elbow, right on the ground. It was a perfectly placed shot. And you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. And he caught the kick. Oh, straight right. Nice head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. The single collar tie. Right hand punch to clinch. And they separate. Nice. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach, it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Yeah. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So. Back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, 
Just out of range with that right hand. Nice, sneaky head kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, that left thigh now really starting to swell. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and he caught the kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch landed on the top. Oh! Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. You're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the back. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. You got him. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, big punch land. Oh, big right hand, yes. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. A big liver kick lands under the elbow. Punch coming, it's blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch lands. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. 20 seconds to go round two. 15 seconds. Big power shot there. Oh! What a fight so far. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. 
and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Going to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chops the wood with those leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, huge head kick. Able to check that kick as well. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, he might be out. Wow! Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big body kick. Good punch. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's oh, unbelievable. Back to the feet. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by 